I just threw a bunch of um, cups and things like that for my Twisted Cup collection. Um, planning on doing a restock soon um, for the, some of the pieces that sold out pretty fast. So I threw those and they've now been drying for a few days so we're going to trim them and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so like I said, I threw a bunch of pieces. Here we go. Some of these are for the Twisted Cup collection. Some of them are customs that I'm doing that are going to need to be trimmed and have handles added like these three right here. Um, and these ones will just be trimmed because they're old. And there's one here to do with drying. But for some reason, with these bats, they dry a heck of a lot faster than my big thick plastic bats. Um, big pieces just dry so much slower on those bats. So these guys, however, are all ready to go. So that's what we're going to do today. So as you can see, I've taken my tray off because this giving group doesn't actually fit on my wheel while it's the tray on. So it makes a big mess, but I usually clean it up right after anyways. I find when you're trimming that they tend to go everywhere anyways and I like using the giving grip because it's a lot faster for me to get the piece centered and trimmed. I do know how to do it the old fashioned way with you know clay lugs or even tap centering and is the fastest for me. So I've got this tool I use for like bigger surface area trimmings and then I have this one that I use for smaller. usually use this, this part a lot with my trimming and then this one I usually use um, to get my bottoms nice and flat of my, my cups while I'm trimming. Um, and I kind of do like a combo with these two for the actual foot rings and stuff. So yeah. And then here's all of my adjustments for the different heights for the different mugs. And then I have some water because I'm going to be pulling some handles as well for some of the pieces that we're making today. So.
train to come. in case the handles don't work or something or you drop one like this one that one that one got dropped you can see all the dents in it but anyways i usually cover these up and let them dry for a little bit they're a little too wet and some of my mugs are a little too wet to attach and with the bmux clay that i use it's very important that they're the same dryness so i usually cover up everything and wait like a day or two and then attach everything together so yeah that's pretty much what I did today and all I had planned for today so so thank you for joining me um and a day in my studio and getting to see how I do things and a little bit about the process um if you'd like to see the entire process from beginning to end on how I made the twisted cups there is another video uh, that I'll link below and then you can go check that out uh, if you're interested. If you're interested in some pottery challenges, I have some things that are kind of in the works that I'm working on making. Um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks for enjoying my video. Oh, and drop a comment below on whether you enjoyed a studio video or you'd like to see more tutorials or what kind of things you're interested in. Um, so I know what kind of videos to make. So thanks again for stopping by and spending a day with me in the studio and I'll see you. Oh, and uh, remember to make messes, make mistakes, and enjoy the process. Bye.